We're going to do a couple more examples of two-step equations, ones that have got lots of negative numbers all over the place. OK, if we're faced with a monster like this, no need to panic. We want to solve for t, so we want to get t all on its own. So we first need to have a look at what we need to do to get rid of this. Well, we've got a negative 6. To get rid of it, we're going to add 6. And what we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. So what we're going to have on the left, well, the negative 6 plus 6 is going to just give us 0, and we'll have t over 7. Negative 5 plus 6, we know that that's going to end up as positive, and it's going to be positive 1. Negative 5 going up 6 steps ends, up, ends us up at 1. Now, we just want to, we're still aiming to get t on its own, and so what we need to do here, because we were dividing by 7, we need to do the inverse, multiply by 7, and we will get that t is equal to 7. Another example. Here we want to solve for y. First thing we need to do is to get rid of this negative 9. It's being divided by negative 9, so to get rid of it, we need to multiply by negative 9. And if we do that to that side of the equation, we must do it to the other. So multiplying by negative 9 here will just leave us with y minus 8. And then negative 7 times negative 9. A negative times a negative is a positive, And a 7 times 9 is 63. OK, and now we're almost done. We want to get y on its own, so we need to add 8 on this side. What we do to one side of the equation, we must do to the other. And we'll end up with the answer y is equal to 71. And let's finish off by looking at a monster that has negative numbers and fractions in it. Again, if we just go step by step, we can get there. Here we're wanting to solve for x. So the very first thing we need to do is get rid of this, subtracting a half. And what we need to do to do that, obviously, is to add a half. So what we will get is that we will get negative 2x is equal to negative a quarter plus a half. Now, negative quarter plus a half is just the same as a half subtract a quarter. Common denominator of 4, so we've got a half is 2 over 4, subtract 1 over 4, and we're going to get our answer of 1 over 4. So we've got negative 2x is equal to 1 over 4. Now we need to get rid of that negative 2, and it's negative 2 multiplied by x, so we need to divide. And so on this side, we need to divide by negative 2. And I, I don't want to put a fraction over a fraction, so I'm actually just going to write it as divide by negative 2. So here, I've got x. Here, I've got a quarter divided by negative 2, which is just negative 2 over 1. We know how to do that. It says the same as multiply by 1 over negative 2. And so what we'll get here, 1 times 1 is 1, and 4 times negative 2 is negative 8. So our answer is, our solution to the equation is x is equal to negative 1 eighth.